Sean Sewell with EvenGamerTech.com here. We are up camping at Lake McConaughey in Nebraska Panhandle. And for this camping trip, we brought the Snow Peak Vault Tent, four person, three season tent. And uh, in this review, I'll go over what it has survived, crazy thunderstorm with big, big hail uh, and high winds. Uh, it's been a really fantastic summertime camping tent. It's huge, it's car camping friendly, it'll fit your family, it's easy to set up. There's a lot to cover in this, so let's get into it. Starting from the outside, we'll talk about sizing. So for reference, I'm a six foot one, 215 pound adult male. This tent is 17 feet long. So I'll walk you through from the end to end. So this is a very sizable tent, as you can see. I get about 15 paces, but it's a very long tent. In the rear, we have a rear vestibule, and we'll start there. So as you can see, there's Velcro access right here. And here's the rear door, it's very sizable. The rear door is mesh backed as well as uh, tent material back, so you can have privacy as well as keep uh, debris from coming into your tent, rain or snow, what have you. And as you can see here too, the tent is suspended from the inner from the outer tent. If you're first time setting this up, you'll need to clip in the tent here, 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 and there. Uh, but after that, the inner tent will go up at the same time as the outer tent, which makes it very, very handy. You can see a bathtub style floor. You can see the spiders it does not come with. We have acquired in the process. We'll go around front. Oh, on the way, I'll explain these poles. Uh, there's two yellow ones and one red one. The two yellow are the same size, so you can put them on the front or the back, so it's really easy to set that up. But the red one will only go in the red sleeve. So as you're setting this tent up, I have found this best practice is to stake out one corner, put yellow pole through, put red pole through, put yellow pole through, and then you have the tent is mostly assembled. Simply pull it taut, so one stake is right there, and then you pull it out, and then stake out here or here, and the tent will stand up. And then you can stake out the rest of the tent. Let's come up front. So as I mentioned earlier, we were camping in some pretty crazy weather. We had hail about the size of this, and I'll show you a picture from my friend Mike Opland down below. But this tent survived two nights of that, as well as really high winds. Like, I don't know, 40 mile per hour gusts easily. And, you know, as always, guy out your tent, but this thing handled it like a champ. For reference, our rooftop tent actually had about 40 dents in it. So the hail was pretty substantial, wind was pretty challenging, the tent handled it like a champ. It's kind of like a Scandinavian tunnel style tent, but more of a family car camping um, price point, as well as size. We've had a lot of uh, Scandinavian tunnel style tents, and they're much smaller than this usually. They do a great job when set up correctly with the wind, uh, but don't provide the size space this one does. I'll walk you guys through the sizing. So the inner tent can be removed during a storm and you can have like six people here, no problem. Uh, camp chairs around and everything. But how we used it, we set it up and you can see the matching door right there with the mesh backer and the tent material. But you can fit four full size sleeping pads, extra long, extra wide, lengthwise or widthwise in the tent. So that's pretty sizable the polyurethane coating and a water resistance of 2000. I don't know what that really means to you out there, but I can tell you it lasted through a thunderstorm. No problem, it didn't wet out. And condensation management was actually really impressive. I simply had the, the rear vent open like I showed you, but then I had the front door open throughout the entirety of the storm. And then I had the door closed, but the top part ventilated. And uh, my wife, dog and I were totally, totally fine. No condensation whatsoever, which is pretty amazing. So obviously venting out really helps. Uh, material, like I said, is robust, so it being a heavier waterproof material is going to be heavier in weight. It's about 20 pounds all in for the tent, the beefy poles, the stakes, and the big storage bag. So this is obviously not a backpacking tent, but for car camping and overlanding, this thing is awesome. It's been a fantastic joy to use. Also worth noting is there is multiple ways to enter the tent. We had the rear door, which you saw, rear vestibule, front vestibule, front door, which we're showing you right now, and then check this out, we have a side door. So you could close this guy off and have a big space 
protect your bikes, your gear, your chair, and you can access it from here on the side. So that's just another way to get into the tent. So you have three ways to enter, which is one more than most tents. Uh, so yeah, this is a really, really fun tent, especially for the price of 330. I know it's probably a little bit high for some people, but given the fact it's a snow peak tent for $330, it's pretty, pretty awesome. So there it is, a snow peak vault tent and color is ivory. Hopefully seeing how we have it set up and hearing how we've used it has been helpful. If it is, thumbs up's appreciated. If you want to see more content from Snow Peak, there's a lot more coming up. Consider subscribing to our Engagement YouTube channel. I'm Sean Sewell, my wife Samantha Sewell, owner and director of Stoke for Engagement.com. Until next time, take care.